What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but less and less we're reaching for that air hose and grabbing those battery power tools. I've actually uh, thought about it the other day and I've got it down to about five pneumatic tools that I still use. Check out that after this. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so wiping down all the tools, kind of went through and seeing probably the top five air tools that I still use, you know, give or take a tool here and there because of, you know, fitment, size fitment, maybe if a battery's dead, you know, what's on hand at the time, how much of a rush I'm in, things like that. So not to say that these are the only air tools I still use, but I mean, weeks can go by being these are the only tools that I use. You know, not to say I don't use what I have or you guys shouldn't use what you have, but you know, pretty much the majority of my days, turning the weeks, turning the months, these are the only tools, air tools that I'm still reaching for. Everything else is obviously battery power, you know, between the lithium batteries and the power these battery tools give us, you know, it, it's it's where everything's going, but they can't replace everything. So first one on it is obviously one that I've talked about before. The air hammer, you know, I mean, in my eyes, I don't know if, uh, you know, a battery power tool could, you know, pack this much power into, you know, a battery power tool, you know, without it and with it lasting, you know, I think something like that's not going to last, but <clears throat> the technology nowadays, you know, I wouldn't be surprised, but got this, you know, it doesn't have to be this brand. I got the snap on one here. You know, I'm definitely still reaching for this one. There ain't a battery tool that would replace this. You know, I, I know they got those little hand you know, ha air hammers, those palm, you know, they kind of look like a sander, but it's like a palm hammer. You know, it doesn't give anything like this one gives, you know, and then they got the bigger one. This is the heavy duty one, but like I said, doesn't need to be a snap on brand, but any hair air hammer in general. So the next one's pretty straightforward. Obviously, you know, they do have replacements for this, but I find myself reaching for this, you know, on the fly, filling up those tires. You know, I like to use the analog one, um, you know, I make sure it's calibrated. I just, it's, I guess I'm just old school like that. You know, I like to, uh, I like to see the little glass, the little sight, not have to worry about batteries and all that stuff. Um, but you know, air chuck, obviously, you know, you can't replace, you can't fill a tire faster. You know, those little Milwaukee battery power ones. Yeah, it fills a tire, but I don't have 45 minutes to fill up a tire, you know, real quick, topping off tires, doing an oil change or what have you, running out to the parking lot, filling a customer's tire, pulling the airline out there. Definitely, uh, definitely one that I can't see getting replaced by batteries anytime soon. So next up on the list is sort of a new tool um, made by Cornwell. If you guys check out my Instagram, you know, made a quick post on this one on some of the things that I've used this thing for. I picked this up a few weeks back. You know, definitely a great tool. Uh, partner on this one, CAT1218, and it's uh, pretty much a belt tool. Got this off the Cornwell truck. Uh, pretty good price, but it's pneumatic. And you know this one gets the job done. Can you replace it with with battery? Yeah, I, they have one out there, probably. But I am reaching for this one. You know, here in the shop, I'm still plugging the airline into this. This thing definitely saves time, saves me money, gets the job done for all types of uses. You guys uh, seen this one? Maybe on one of my tool hauls. You know, it's you could angle it. It locks in. They got different grits for you for the belt. You could get replacement belts and all that stuff. And believe it or not, that belt doesn't slip off there. So clean up those caliber slides, take down a fastener. You know, if you're fabricating like I do sometimes, you know, make it work, cut it down nice and easy. And then down to the last two, your standard blow gun. Obviously, you know, nothing's gonna, nothing's pressurized with air. You know, batteries don't create air and a pressure, you know, a tank, a compressor that can hold 150 PSI, but you know, your standard blow gun or anything like that, anything for that matter. You know, I'm still reaching for this. I got a couple different ones. I got a long wand one. I got that turbo one from Snap-on with the bullet on there that blasts, pretty much blasts skin off you. But 
definitely reaching for this one. I definitely don't see a uh, battery replacement for this one anytime soon. You know, what's compressed air sitting in the tank for you? You know, uh, like I said, a battery tool, unless you're gonna have a battery powered air compressor with 150 pounds of air on standby, you know, ran through batteries, I can't see this getting replaced anytime soon either. <clears throat> and the last one I got here, um, you know, I could probably reach for a battery tool for what I use this for. I think the snap-on buffer, the uh, CT PP 761 or whatever, the buffer, you know, probably put this on there and use it, but it does not have the RPM that this little half horse power air tool has or any, you know, 90 degree, you know, grinder, I guess you would call this in general. I'm still reaching for this one. Obviously clean those tire rims. You know, it just got the RPM. It's got the speed and, you know, getting the jobs done fast. I don't have time to, you know, be overheating a battery or something you got a real bad rim or something like that going through a couple batteries with that buffer you know that thing pretty much can't really handle long-term use and it doesn't have the rpm that you know this pneumatic one or any pneumatic one could handle without all the heat all right guys so that's just a quick my top five air tools we're still using here at the auto shop life you guys let me know down in the comments what pneumatic tools are you still guys using at your shop you know, uh, and why it's, you know, I can't see some of these tools, like I said, I, I don't necessarily have to use them. I choose them just for ease of use and, you know, getting the job done faster. Can I reach for a battery tool or do they make a, you know, a cordless tool that, you know, can get the same job done? Yes, but do, can it get it done as efficient, you know, and as fast and, it, you know, using less energy and the safest way, you know, no, sometimes pneumatic's the way to go. You know, I'm not trying to be anti cordless. I'm not trying to be anti, you know, battery tools, but, like I said, me reaching for the least amount of time I have to reach for that hose, spending energy running that compressor, you know, that would tie into the business side of things. You know, the less I got to run that compressor, the more money I get to save. You know, reaching for these battery power tools, yeah, that runs on electricity too, but when you have seven or eight batteries already on charge, you know, it's energy ready to be used. So, my top five pneumatic tools that I still use. Maybe I'll do a follow up on this one, show you guys my top battery tools mostly used here at the Auto Shop Life. But as always, guys, get close to the camera, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.